Bachelor of Science in Mines and Quarries Management. Came about after I went on a curricular sprint activity in uh, Maputo, Mozambique. And that activity was supported by the ACP EU Development Minerals Program way back in 2017. We are the participants from the African, Caribbean and Pacific countries sat down and tried to develop the kind of curricula that we think would be, would be beneficial to, to mine and, uh, mining and quarrying uh, activities in these, in these countries. A baseline study in 2017 indicated that there was a gap in the education and training capacity of individuals who work in the more than 230 mining and quarrying operations in Jamaica. It was clear that there was a need for the course, and importantly, it was supported by government policy, requiring that individuals operating at the management level in the extractive industry needed to be trained um, at the university level. And so we met that challenge at UTEC. We want to have a, a, a set of modules that would educate uh, the, the, a, a university student to be able to function as uh, entry-level managers within a quarry and, 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 and mining environment. We also want to ensure that the modules would be attractive enough for persons who would not normally qualify for a university degree. We want to ensure that they are sufficiently trained to be able to work in these facilities and offer the kind of regulatory services that are required to have a modern mining and quarrying sector. My name is Alton Wegner, a student here at the University of Technology, Jamaica, and I'm currently pursuing a four-year degree program in mines and quarry management. Now, the best part about this course is just being able to know how to operate, design, and manage a quarry, and also learning about the rehabilitation processes when mining is completed, we can utilize those areas for farming or, or ozone development. There is a sustainable way of extracting material from the earth. So we teach our students restoration, mines closure. So we are mining, the mine will close at some point, and we teach them about restoration and rehabilitation. That's an important element in our course of study. We expect that the individuals trained in our program um, will be able to implement decisions that clearly from the onset and right to the end of, well, to the end of, the, of closing a mining site to show that they know what sustainability is about. And all of that was considered while they were planning, while they are extracting and in the restoration. Our mines and quarry students are exposed to geographic information sciences, the land surveying, construction technology, entrepreneurship, community service, and so on. So we expect them to leave as rounded individuals. We have probably about 25 to persons who have actually um, registered in the program, and they are at the various levels now. Hopefully at the end of this academic year, we might start to have our, our first graduates now. Persons are just beginning now to start to get out an internship to be placed in quarries. My name is David Becker and I'm part of the Mine and Quarry Management course at the University of Technology Jamaica. For all those who are entering the mining sector, whether they are planning to be part of the management or to be underground field working. It's an excellent course, not just the theory, but the practice. It's based on how things are actually done in industry. And so if persons are are exposed to this, we expect to see a massive improvement in how mines and quarries are, are managed and how the operations are allowed um, to, to go forth in the future. We think um, this bodes well for Jamaica and for any country with an active extractive industry.